Hello, Investie Besties. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning Investie Bestie, thank y'all for coming back. I do appreciate all of you guys being here on this channel. Me and my family of five is documenting our journey with real numbers to something called FIRE. We are trying to retire with a $3 million net worth or probably just $3 million in the bank. We're trying to figure that out. But yes, we are going to retire with some money, okay? We're going to try to retire early with some money. And I talk about investing, wealth building. I talk about cryptocurrency, NFTs. I talk about net worth, just ways to grow your money realistically and something that will last you over time. So if that sounds interesting to you, go on and subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit that little bell notification button so that you don't miss an upload every time your investy bestie posts a video. Okay, guys. So today we're going to be talking about how to save and invest for your children, okay? And this could, some of these could even apply to your nieces and nephews, maybe cousins, siblings, anything of the like, okay? So I really, really love talking about ways to save for our children. Why? Because we really do want to give the young people a head start into the future. I mean, most of us that watch this channel, your investy bestie included, your investy bestie's husband as well, grew up with not knowing a lot about money or just good money habits. I'm telling you guys, I didn't even know how to write a check. I didn't even know how to open up a bank account. I didn't even know how to deposit money in the bank. And these are some of the things we want to kind of break off, okay? These are some of the financial generational curses we need to eliminate, especially in communities of color. Last time on Final Notice. You know, is that Ms. here? No, she's currently going to the storage to put some things away in the storage. Okay, well, we got an eviction schedule here today. How old are y'all? I'm 15. And where does your mom go to the store? She's going to the storage. Storage? storage. Yeah, we're going packing up the store. Okay, we'll call her and tell her that the process server here to do the eviction. And she probably needs to come on back. Uh, we don't have a phone. Y'all have no way to get in contact with her? No, we don't even have a place to go at this point. Yeah, we are. Can you, like, give us, like, an hour or two? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, okay. I got my ride and stuff on the way coming. So who are you? The rest of the stuff. I'm the aunt. Okay, well, so y'all didn't say she was here. And now, so if y'all got it, I know y'all say y'all got most of the stuff packed up, but make sure you yeah. get the keys, your cell phone, watches, yeah, all that kind of stuff, because okay. you don't want you don't want it to go in a bag when they start moving the stuff out. Okay, I got Hey, you got the paperwork for the court? Yeah. Let me see the paperwork. Hold on one second. Because, you know, it's over here doing it. It's over here, I just, here you go. I'm just asking for the paperwork. I'm just playing off on those. What is this for? Right off a of possession? It's eviction. Is this for a possession? Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Take a possession. Okay. Issued on the 13th. Yeah, I had to be notified of this. Yeah, I wasn't notified of it. Yeah, my lease ain't open until December. So what I have to do next? Okay, like I said, I'm gonna give y'all five minutes to get some of your personal stuff. I need a little bit stuff. more than five minutes. Can I give about yeah. 15 minutes? That's it, so okay. I can get fully dressed. Okay. okay, okay, hold on. Let me explain something to you. So we have no misunderstanding, because I, uh -huh. I don't want this to go south on you. Okay. He said he gonna give now, me five minutes. You don't live here no more since I'm here. You trespassing. I, you don't understand how evictions work. As soon as I'm here, you do not live here. I can get everybody out of this house right now. Anybody refusing to go would be in the back of a police car for trespassing. 
This so, is, but I'm not right. doing it that way, man. I'm not. just trying to make sure you understand well, that you're not in control here to start trying to dictate things. Yeah, but I didn't get notified. Well, that's me. between you and the court, man. You got the paper in your hand. Go down there to the judge. Tell the judge, look, you, you made a mistake. You did something wrong. You shouldn't have issued this. I didn't make a mistake. Well, now I'm just saying the judge who oh. issued that made the mistake is what you're saying. Oh, okay. I didn't issue that. The judge did. Okay. So that's who made the mistake. You can go down there to the court. You got it. Go down there to um, go on in there and say, look, I ain't getting no notice. They didn't do this and that. I got a lawsuit. I'm calling my attorney. All that. But you had to take it down there to them because I don't have nothing to do with it. I just, they gave me that and said, go over there and put them out. You understand how it works? Excuse me. Are you still getting dressed? Yes, sir. I'll pull my stuff out of the closet. You don't mind. Are you getting dressed or are you pulling stuff out of the closet? I have to pull my clothes out so that I can get my, you know, find what I'm putting out. Okay, well, I'm going to bring the crew and we're going to go ahead and start up front. The crew. Let's go, amigo. What now? Okay, now I'm gonna have to have y'all step outside. Y'all gonna start trying to give me directions now. Y'all ain't gonna be able to instruct me on an eviction. Okay, so either y'all gonna y'all wanna stay here peacefully and work with us, y'all can do that. Or we'll might have to have everybody step outside. Now I'm gonna come back in and take my pictures. Okay, hold on a second. Man, you ain't got all day down to get dressed now. What you say? You said we being patient. We grab these things up out here. I don't mind you standing in here packing up some stuff. That's no problem. That's all I'm doing. I'm putting everything out of the closet. That's all I'm doing. Now you the aunt or you the lease holder? That's what I thought. Uh, look, he said, he said somebody else was out there. It was a white man out there. Yeah. I ain't on the lease hold. I'm not the light. I know you can throw the light out. Yeah. Yeah, but you, you got to remember that, you know, this ain't my first rodeo. Oh, uh, well, it's my first rodeo. Right. That's what I'm saying. And a lot of people, the first time they think maybe uh, you could avoid it. But it wouldn't matter. If nobody was here. You, know, you would come home and all your stuff would be on the street. So it don't matter who here. Now let me ask you a question, because I see this all the time, and you don't have to answer it, but I would like to know, especially with this young man here, what is the deal with all that trash and them trash bags in there? The garbage can don't want uh, we the garbage can. Y'all don't have a garbage can? We didn't get yeah, they won't pick up our trash. Oh, okay. All right. What's up, man? Mario, let's go. Start up here in the front. Right up here. Yeah, it's in here in the kitchen. Right here to the left.
All right, let's get get this up. Get some of this stuff out the way. Right here. I got a U-Haul coming. Hey, give him a hand with this table right here.
Okay. 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 Okay.
it is a certain job. I'm and in the I role of the sheriff. And I'm in the role of just but human. But what I'm saying. Human. You in the role of whatever. No, nah, the sheriff does, the sheriff does eviction. It's all about a dollar because you love your job. I do love my job. I know. You working for somebody. You work for myself. You shit in somebody else's position. Your soul to tell you, it's it, how's it sell my soul? It is. Okay, Look this is. How, let me tell this you. This is what's gonna happen. You see you your kids. Consider. I'm gonna tell you, you what your kids. The help. No. You go clean up the dirty the work for I, the I'm big man. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen one That's day. That's what that is. What's gonna happen one day? Because they already standing day. on their own business. What's gonna happen? That's exactly what I'm gonna say. Because I'm standing we will write, on my own business. I'm standing on my own business. Your kids are gonna grow up and they're gonna own properties. They got. They're gonna be multi-millionaires. They own. They be And then they're gonna get on the phone. They're gonna say, Mister, I need your services because. We gonna talk to the tenant and figure out a plan. If you and we gonna if you and Eric and you if you and Eric inherit a house right now, if somebody in your family give you a house on. and you say, "Well, I'm gonna rent this house out. I'm gonna mm -hmm. be an entrepreneur. I'm mm -hmm. gonna go here and uh, I just purchased this house. I'm gonna go here and paint. I'm gonna decorate. I'm gonna do all this. My kids, they getting them houses. We finna build us an empire. And then you move people in. They don't pay you, Mr. Penn. You pay. Ms. Penn, it's not that on? we don't want to pay, it's the fact that they now, what said I'm saying that they can't is, accept the payment. It's, it's offered to pay about, them since Section 8 said it's it a, was unlivable and they couldn't make what enough payment. What I'm saying is, it's, offered to it's pay all about your perspective. Your money ain't your first if if you own we this property, you will be looking at it differently is all I'm saying. No, not really, because when you got a lot of aspects, you can't look at it for one reason and a certain thing to help people and that's your heart. You ain't gonna care about the I'm property. helping the owner. The same way he blessed you to have a realtor. I'm business, being blessed because I'm he helping the owner. Bless that business with more business where you able to help He's your tenants when they in bad situations like that. Well, that's, I, I don't have curse. nothing to do with that part. I, break the I don't curse have nothing to do with that part. But you're not gonna be to blame saying, me for your situation. Uh, no, it's not a situation. Come on, because but I'm just saying it, it's not my fault. I've heard this before. Just don't want to fix the roof. But that ain't my fault though. And then it's nobody's fault. We wasn't given enough time. You know what I'm saying to prep. Pre yep. properly prepare for movement it just was out the blue section 8 failed it said the roof need to be fixed and said the tenant cannot fix it you know we got plenty of hand oh, that that it's going to be another story because I'm on section 8 oh this is my first time on it too yeah. never, never nah. been on it always paid let me tell you this right here Always I've heard what you're saying. I've heard what you're saying before. Nah, the 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 fix, I've heard that before. Section it's not the first said time. they weren't going to make another payment. And the landlord said they can't accept the payment out of pocket because she has a voucher and they violated the voucher and not going to So why not move. just move? Oh, but they didn't give us enough time. And That's enough not enough notice. time. Enough it, it happened out the blue. You expect a person to be gone in 29 days? I mean, that's crazy. That's not enough time to prepare for anything. You got to pay deposit uh, application fees here. Got put that waiting on back, backgrounds to come back and everything. I mean, that's not okay. cool. Come on, knock that's not down. cool. Take my uh, t-shirt person to see you there. Come on, pay hundred dollars for motherfuckers being caught over. Any we wasn't complaining about it. His people recognized it. I didn't recognize. Who the fuck gonna walk in the kitchen every day and just look up? Are you gonna trip and fall and bust your lip? I'm just saying, man, because of time when you have to just say, look, it's time to get the hell up out of here. Oh, it's time. You don't wait for me to get here and then say it's my fault. I'm waiting on you. Oh, sure. well. <laughs> We've been moving for days, so it's. For sure, that waiting on you. Time served. You're going to give me every day, every minute, every moment up in here. Time <laughs> served. Because, yeah. Okay. Especially when ain't no violation okay, been you. made on our end. You. you know what I'm saying? But if you're like going to do it, well, let me tell you that. If you're going to do that strategy, then you just be like, I, I know people, that's what they say. They say, look. I'm gonna ride all the way out to the end, but they ain't mad at me. They, it's they, not they, the fact that they knew. Out to the end. This, if you gonna ride out to the end, you know I'm gonna show up at some point. You need time. It takes time. Moving is time consuming. It's not something you can just wake up and say, "I'm gonna get moved today. I'm gonna go apply today, and I'm gonna move in tomorrow." It's not that easy no more. Yeah, I know. It's been tough. I so understand where I'm coming from. Well, I do from. understand that. The prices on food that went up and everything else gone up. I believe the days and the time limit to get out of a house when things are not going right. But y'all need to go back. Why don't y'all go buy a house? Stop renting from these folks. The, I mean, the money y'all paying in rent is a house? No. So do you own a house? No. You don't own a house no. either? No. And I'm going to tell you something. You can go buy a house, get the loan from the bank, pay the loan off at the bank. You still don't own your motherfucking house. Because well, no you still got to pay property taxes right. and you, you still got to pay the insurance. Pay. You still never really you own your house. Your I hate when homeowners say, buy a house or I bought a house. I mean, congratulations. You just 
Well, that's because everybody you just died. Nobody could own anything forever anyway. Okay. That's why they got the tax on it. Because you Rent would die. always better. Yeah. They don't tell how many people own this house. That's just what, mean, that's, hey. that's the world we in. That's what I'm saying. Even if you go buy a house, but, but, but house while you here, still want own But what I'm one. saying is, but while you here, you can you have your own your thing. You can pay your music allowance. You want. You can do what you want to do. You don't have to worry about it. Just pay your taxes. You don't have to worry about nobody. How your own. But guess thing. what? What if I don't want to pay and my then taxes? Go, and then go buy you some house. properties and rent them out. And then call They're gonna me. They're going to come and take your house if you don't pay your property taxes, right? Right. That's okay, like with anything. So what the fuck is the purpose of owning it? If I can't skip paying pay property your, taxes. You don't need to skip it. <laughs> I'm saying. I already paid for the house I own the motherfucker. What hey, the fuck am I constantly paying money thing. for? Either way it goes, we never really own shit. Right, and that's true. We don't own shit. No, I agree with that. Okay, well, I'm saying that's why it need to be a better way to handle things and do shit because, I mean, it's going to be same shit, different people. You know what I'm saying? That's how it work. It ain't nothing changing. Generational curses need to be broken. That's what, that's what y'all need, and y'all need to start with these children right here. Y'all need to be trying to get them some nah, property and get I'm them a business here. going. It should have started they with have you, but you see the music machines, t-shirt print machines. Okay, let's get it going then. It's been going. It's been it, it, the money is not the problem with leaving this house. It's the people who it's the want owners the money of it. from you to get them. It's their I problem. mean, we got, we got fix plenty of junkies that, that will come paid. fix a hole in the wall. They said, section they said we cannot fix it. Yeah, no, I've heard that before. Okay, they said we yeah. cannot fix it. I've heard that before. Okay, we offered to yeah. pay the amount of the rent that section they not willing to pay. They, they can't accept it because she has a, one of those things. So, I mean, it's a lose-lose situation. Because I can sue them. That's why. Right. Because I that's can crazy. sue them. That's why. Right. See, a lot, a lot of the tenants ain't as smart like that. Okay. If they accept any fucking money under the table, you can sue and take their ass for little thing they got. Well, when you get ready to sue, call me. I'll serve the paper for you. Uh-uh. I don't need you. I already got somebody in the office. <laughs> They just said after dummies. I'm not calling you a dummy, but you know. That's no, your they con I call them the help. Yeah. They consider the help. They come they do dummies. the dirty work for the big man. Something that the big man know he can't get. They can't get out he here in these streets and do they sell. That's why you get so irritated because it's be hot as fuck when you do your irritated? job. And I'm saying anybody in your position, it be hot as hell when you're doing your job. I ain't gonna do it. For two minutes on the job, I'm leaving that motherfucker. That's it. I'm not going to do it. Be damn near $250 just to come outside and enjoy my day. Okay. So I'm just saying. And I came, I came up off of fraud years ago. I done paid my tithes and did my due. Y'all spending today money. I'm still sitting on old money. And ain't shit y'all can do to me. I paid my tithes. Ma'am, it's not me. Y'all, uh, no. ma'am. Let me tell you I don't you collect no rent. Let me tell you something. When you working in that field, today. It's just like a gang. It's man, just like I'm a gang membership. I'm doing the same membership. job as the sheriff, man. No, fuck that. Get that on camera. It ain't. It ain't. Hey, it, it's, right you, no. you can't blame and the person putting you out and if it is. for your oh, situation. Oh, it's all good. It's all good because it wasn't on her. It's so not on me. It's, it's but it's no on me. Good. And she, no, you see, she got somewhere to take it her shit to. It wasn't on you until you brought these kids, raised these kids. The, 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 you gonna step yeah, the you, he stepped out of line there for a second. Huh? Kids on something was Because I, I I fucking raised them for 17 motherfucking years on my own. No child support, no shit. You gonna step the fuck in? Nah, I don't think you will. But Why you, you trying to make this a hostile thing? It's not hostile. Hey, y'all a team. See, I told you you came to get the dirty work for the motherfucking real man in charge. You see, just a hell. Who's the real man in charge? Whoever got you out here on this sucker type shit. Because ain't nobody <laughs> finna come spread the... Spread they wings just to break no this family supply for the day. I mean, your a day under my hour. Well, an hour too. Who gives a fuck? You a know, day. Who gives a fuck? You no, know, that's what know. I'm saying. It's not about the money. You get what I'm saying? It's not about the money nowadays. You might well be look, a, take a look a, around. A it's not about the money no more. more money In the minute, your the dollar ain't gonna have no fucking value to it. I mean, just keep living. It, it ain't gonna have a value to your credit score. Ain't gonna mean shit or none of that. How old I mean, are your kids? On. 17, 15, I don't have kids. 14, 10, 8. I don't know how to. Who's 17? Right beside you. Him? Not a criminal. Well, I'm saying, he, he getting close to age when he can serve papers. Hmm. Serve papers, you do. He ain't finna come work with your motherfucking ass. I'm just saying, it's money. Get that Man, your you gotta start getting money in your mind. You gotta start Man. thinking about money. Making money. When I tell you, you a worker, I'm a boss. You a worker. 
I don't go to work. I, I sit at home and wait on my uh shade coochie hairs to grow back. While you at work sweating, growing your motherfucking hairs back on your head. I sit at home and wait on <laughs> mine to grow back. I don't have to do that. You get what I'm saying? I, I paid my tithe. He's like just a fucking nutcracker. Well, why why didn't you go get a, get them a house then? You doing? They all got that? one, baby. It just ain't ready. It ain't ready to move in. That's why I said that's not enough time for them to move. It's not that's enough. not enough time. You know okay. what I'm saying? There you go again with that knucklehead. Just the book by a couple. Just <laughs> 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 the book by a couple. I'm telling you. Y'all yeah. better quit. They need folks on y'all and around y'all. I'm trying to tell you. There you go. What's that? Come work for me. That's good. What you mean? That's good. That's where you're going to? Yeah, and they still paying for it. But I'm saying you should have been, you should have been there and got the hell up out of here. Up. No, it's time. Yeah, we we no. started here you know, long enough now. I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm going to tell you something. I finally pulled up. Oh, the welcome now. Don't get my fucking piano the ground. I'm still trying to learn how to play that motherfucker. Get it. And get my t-shirt and say, come on. I'm here. I don't need motherfucking chairs out here. I'm not sitting in the motherfucking church. My motherfucker hit her. Oh well. I mean, she's come out the house, not the fucking driveway. My pops still right here. Let me make sure she can pick my grandbaby up. How's she gonna say she has a back teeth? I got all the minor <laughs> shit, but the most important shit right here on the ground, Vendor Allen Pat and Virginia. Moving service truck to a moving service. Man. I want this fucking picture. It looks like a picture. I don't have any like this. Keep it for me then. I, I like it. They gave me a lot of females in the bra back, back in the day. Look <laughs> at <laughs> well, that shit. You get that pressure in the shame. Who the fuck about none of this shit? I don't care. Get them two back there. For me. Yeah. You can hand it to me. Then you got to pick it Hey. Up. If ain't nobody even told you today that they love you, I don't like you, but I love you. Yeah, I know, let me right? tell you something. I've been and doing this said, since '99. Said, you think you did the first conversation like this? I don't hear. He said, "Why oh, that's okay. okay. It, it's like it's like a radio in the background to me. Oh, okay. Well, hey. Every other eviction, I'm gonna hear somebody talking. You, you, it's so one ear out the other, but either way, exactly. your ass heard it, it, me. You hear it every day. You hear it, man. It's on it your mind. You anything. think about this shit. I come do the eviction, move you on to the next one. It. I go one, two, three, four. I'm I'm just saying it don't matter. Tomorrow man. ain't promising anything could happen tomorrow where you saying, won't be in a true. position to go to yeah. work and make that's that's true. Man, and no then one knows. what you gonna fall back on. No one knows what's gonna happen in the world. Man. I know we never do. Yeah. That's why yeah. we're supposed to stick together all means necessary. Piece, Especially when it ain't the ones that's out there shooting shit up but and see, doing I, I would like to stick together. I, I would have so liked for y'all to already been gone before I got here. Oh, See, some places I go to when I get there, it's vacant. It's like us that love to make your job harder. It ain't hard for me, man. Man, I'm going to show you what's hard. I'm about I'm to go take a shit in there in the middle of the floor. Let's see, let's see you now. One nice minute day. you on the high level, now you, yeah, now you what, down yeah, in the gutter. Yeah, that's basically what you're asking for. And make your day hard. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. I could be complicated. I ain't going to complicate you. I don't give a fuck. You got to know when I'm saying it. I don't give Baby, where all this going to go? We gonna, gonna uh, have to drop some off and come on back. Ah, right, come on, he's still sitting in the car. How did he get up? It's like a car seat, baby. Okay, but still the table and all that, right? Oh, oh, ah, oh, yeah. Oh. Who them? I ain't gonna be unload. Yeah, they going with you too. Who? They fed and little there finna ride with me. Okay, if they going then uh in my car then Courtney can put something else in his. Okay, well fill my front seat up, fill the rest of this up. I know Come on! Put it right here. It can fit. Okay. Uh uh, girl, don't you break that one? You saw it move. I thought it could fit either. Alright. Oh. Well. Who else, girl? Who else? Who else?
TV box up there. Put it up where I'm on. You can slide through the back of him. I don't reckon I need to see. They better watch me. They know I ain't had no driving license before they got on their road by me anyway. I wish I was an alcoholic. I'd have a drink. But I'm gonna get rid of it. <coughs> Where did I come from? Now the car, you got 48 hours of moving. Okay. You just okay. sit there. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll be back. All right. Yeah. Mario, get them a bucket for them. Pull that bag, that mop bucket. Took her papers and stuff out of her. Got the drawer. Mm -hmm.
These people be driving me crazy. Let me get back here. I'm gonna say I ain't even been upstairs. Is there anything up here? Oh, no. <laughs> It's empty. Good thing. Some glasses up there.
the people in that day and time just didn't know how to do it. And so again, now that we know, now that we have more information and access to more knowledge, it's up to us to really teach this next generation how to move forward so that they can achieve whatever financial goals that they have and have realistic expectations about it okay they need to know how to budget they need to know how to manage their money they need to know how to invest their money and maybe invest and save for their children so we can keep this wheel keep this ball rolling down the line because what point is it to give them a whole bunch of money and they don't understand how to manage it they don't understand what it took to work for it and to keep it and these are the things we have to teach them 